Uh, taking a look around here, though. Looking pretty good. All right. <laughs> I do really enjoy this game, so I, I hope at least if you guys enjoy watching these videos, let me know. Uh, they're kind of silly, and honest to God, they're a pain to try and coordinate, because if the game doesn't go well, suddenly it's not an interesting cast, but I have to sit here and cast the whole thing, because there's no way to do, like, replays. I guess maybe I could just record every game I ever played and add commentary later, but that's not nearly as fun as having me play and do live commentary, like, from my point of view. Uh, that's kind of a little bit more fun. Uh, so let's see here. We still have all of these poor guys down there. I'll just keep buffing my tree. You know, that High Tyrant honestly doesn't even need my forge, uh, my uh, fortune buffs. He's just pretty awesome on his own. We can see we have the uh, the Gene Steelers are going to do awesome uh, stuff to these guys. I'm just going to keep poking with my sword and our Chaos Sorcerer friend here. I should start calling them by their actual names. Kartoffel is our Chaos Sorcerer. Inferable is our uh, guest starring uh, Tyranid. Again, I just randomly met these guys in general chat. Uh, Inferable apparently is a fan of the channel. He mentioned that he sent me some game that I haven't cast yet, so I will take a look at that next time. It was a two versus two game, I believe, that ended in one victory point uh, versus Kalsey, I think was the name that he threw out there. Oh my god, somebody get these freaking dreadnoughts off of me! <laughs> I, like, so, uh, I, I kind of forget, you really need to kill the dreadnoughts first. Like, you need to take down one dreadnought right off the bat, otherwise this happens. You have dreadnoughts chasing after poor me and poor Chaos Sorcerer. Oh my god, poor Chaos Sorcerer! Run for your life! Oh, nice move there. You see, he blinked behind the wall. Uh, I'm going to grab this Chaos Dreadnought here. Uh, you know, I was kind of just assuming that they would be able to focus down one of those Dreadnoughts. I think my other Dreadnought will take care of it. Uh, I'm going to continue grabbing Marines here. I'm going to fortune myself up because I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh my god, okay, we have a Chaos uh, Dreadnought running around. Well, a Chaos-controlled Space Marine Dreadnought running around right now. Uh, where's my Chaos friend? Uh, Mr. Kartoffel needs, needs some love. Actually, he's fine. He doesn't need any love. Whatever. <laughs> he's fine right now. No love for you. Uh, I'll go ahead and drop a buff down here on uh, on our nice looking Dreadnought. I'm going to control the other Dreadnought too. I know it's going to die pretty soon, but if I can get it to move away and uh, save it some damage, that's pretty cool. Uh, and now I will put some Stabby Stab on these gentlemen here. Uh, I'll give myself some fortune, and things are looking good. All right, things are looking good again. Uh, kill that Dreadnought though, please. Let me, let me give some buffs here to my High Tyrant friend. All right. He's looking good there. Uh, let's see, this medic. I would, uh, I guess I can I can confuse these guys way in the back as we kill this medic here. That'll be pretty sweet. All right, so wave eight, looking pretty good here. Looking pretty good here. <laughs> and I forget what the next wave is. I, I'm really terrible at this. I, I could play this level 100 times and I constantly, like on the fly, I can never remember which wave is which. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and preemptively fortune myself. Oh yes, of course, it's the stormtroopers. It's always the Stormtroopers. Like the first wave that I realize I don't know what's coming next, it's usually the Stormtrooper wave. Uh, you'd think I'd learn my way through that, but oh well. Uh, so Chimera here, very important for me to grab them. Uh, also, the Catachan Devils are, are my targets for this round. You see, if I, if I grab the Chimera and then go away, uh, hopefully they'll start shooting at it. That's, that's kind of my goal there. I'll take this Heavy Weapons team as well, just because they're kind of fun to suppress other people. Very important to be unsuppressible as the Farseer. Oh, and we have a Chaos. Uh, it looks like he went ahead and grabbed one of those. So I'm going to just grab these guys. Let me see. Uh, who else can I grab here? I need to fortune myself. And uh, that stuff is being destroyed. The Catachans are on the field right now. Oh, God, I need to start grabbing these Catachans. This is the problem right now. The knockback is so annoying. Oh, my God, Catachans. Luckily, I already dropped my fortune on myself here. Uh, but Catachans. Oh, my God. Look at this freaking knockback. Seriously, look at this freaking knockback. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay, uh, emergency time here. Emergency time here. Holy crap! Oh, it was me! It was me all along. I was the poor bastard who was going to die first. All I had to do was mind control one of them, and it would have worked out just fine. Anyhow, uh, luckily he's got my back. I'm going to fortune myself up here and try my best to get the hell out of here, because holy crap, uh, that's what you got to watch out for. There's also the, the next wave with the fire prisms and uh, the seer council there. I'm going to say sorry and thank you. Because uh, I reset our stupid score. My bad. Uh, the next wave with the Seer Council. The Seer Council is equally terrible. Uh, they have horrendous knockback there. Uh, let's see. I'm going to continue buffing. Uh, let's see. I'll buff my Chaos Sorcerer friend. I'll buff this guy. And I'm going to grab a Death Dread. Death Dreads are really fun to grab. Uh, Death Dreads will do a little bit of damage here. We have all sorts of AoE coming out of the Hive Turn. That's looking good. In fact, I'm going to go and cover our flank here by grabbing some of these dudes who are coming up uh, from the rear. Uh, just to kind of uh, stall out their uh, tactics a little bit. I'm going to grab this first knob here, hopefully send him back the other direction. Uh, provide some time here for this Chimera just to kind of be cool. I'll even uh, put some fortune on the Chimera because why not. And now I need to start being careful. I'm a little bit overextended here. I'm going to grab the Tank Busters. I'm going to preemptively give myself another fortune and then run down here towards the south. Uh, I'm going to grab a knob actually. 
I'm going to grab a knob and let him just kind of beat up his own troops a bit. Hopefully I'll get away from that grenade. And now I'll start grabbing these uh, death threads here. Death threads looking good. That'll go right into that blob of troops there. And uh, maybe we can do some damage here. I'm going to put another fortune up on this tank, uh, helping out the Chimera a bit. And and I think our, I think I need to put another fortune up on my... Uh, did I... Where did I go? Where, where did I go just now? Where the hell am I? There I am. Kind of in, lost in that... Uh, lost in my cloud there. I'm going to go ahead and just put some buffs up on my allies whenever I can. Boom, there goes an ally. Uh, boom. Fortune up on my ally here. And at some point, we're going to have to do something about this Death Dread. I'm not super well equipped with Death Dreads, but uh, if he's busy focusing that thing, I certainly can be. Yeah, no problem. Gene Stealers and Harlequin stabbing away. We got this one. <sighs> wave 10. Oh, God. Is this going to be... Is this the Eldar Wave? The Eldar... Oh, God. It is the Eldar Wave. Okay, so... So, Seer Council... Is, uh, is the thing to look out for on this wave, as, is, as are the fire prism. So hopefully we're going to grab a fire prism at the end of all this. A note on buffing the hell out of my allies here. Uh, so many troops here, though. I really have to just grab troops like like mad uh, throughout the beginning of this. And keep an eye out. There's the Seer Council. Seer Council has got to be on my team here. I'm going to grab the Seer Council first, uh, but I am getting wrecked right now. This is no good. I also need to take care of all of this business here. Uh, let's get... Oh, God. Go, get, 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 get off me. Get off me. I need to buff myself with fortune. I need to confuse people. That's pretty good, but I need to get out of here right now. I wish I had fleet of foot right now. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to grab some... Oh my god, I'm taking a lot of damage here. I'm just going to run away. I'll start going to back time. Hopefully, hopefully, yes. There we go. We have our own uh, We have our, <laughs> We have our. own fire prism. That's the most important part is for the uh, chaos sorcerer to grab that. Uh, so now that the fire prism is here, I can start grabbing the other fire prism, and this will go a lot better here. I'm going to get my fortune back up. This is why it is so important, by the way, to have the heaviest possible armor as a Farseer that you can. Uh, you need to be able to run away on your own for quite a while and take a lot of damage here. Uh, also, I need to buff my allies a little bit better. I'm sure that I'm, I'm playing at like half capacity because I'm narrating so much, but uh, I'm in this for the show. I don't really care. <laughs> I'll happily play like a noob uh, if, as long as it's entertaining here. Again, I'm having trouble navigating around the map here. Uh, let's see here. We've got some Chaos guys. No problem. Uh, having this... Uh, Having our humongous fire prism is going to really help out. Uh, that's just going to make this game so much easier. I'm going to continue buffing our guy here. I do hear the, the lovely pitter-patter of auto cannons, so we do have a chaos thing down there. I'm going to try and buff these guys a little bit, maybe. Oh, of course! As soon as I freaking buff them, he resummons them. That always happens. Uh, I'm just going to grab this chaos dreadnought instead, uh, and hopefully it'll do some damage here. And now I'm going to sprint off, fortuning myself. Uh, perhaps even, oh god, taking some damage here. Perhaps even fortuning this fire prism, and then going to confuse some of these heretics and then run off to the north to grab that uh, victory point once again. So, uh, I do hear that cast right now. Oh god, yeah, and we've got some uh, blood uh, blood pressures coming in here as well. I'm gonna ignore this top blood pressure for the time being, perhaps. Perhaps, well, no, I'll confuse him now because now he's gonna run down and hit that other blood crusher. That'll be pretty cool. Uh, who needs buffs around here? I'll buff up that chaos sorcerer wherever he is. There he is. Uh, I'm gonna totally avoid that guy. I can't do anything against that dude. I'll come down here and grab a Chaos Dreadnought. Boom. Chaos Dreadnought versus Blood Letter with Auto Cannon. That should be kind of good. Blood Blood Crusher, whatever. You know what the hell they're called. And uh, now I'll grab the healthy looking one as well. Uh, let them fight amongst themselves for a bit. We do have a uh, Zinch upgraded. Oh, no, that's just a regular uh, Predator. Uh, but I think, I think it's better to have uh, the Fire Prism anyways. I'm going to control this gentleman again. I'm going to drop some armor on myself. I'm going to drop some armor on my Chaos Sorcerer friend here while I have the mana. Might as well. And uh, just give some stabby stab here to the <laughs> to the blood crusher. So that's looking pretty good. We are on wave 12. Uh, this is a pretty pro team. I do enjoy playing with these guys. And uh, I, somebody's got to do something about this guy because I certainly can't. Uh, I guess I can. I just need a tank here. That's fine. There we go. Gene Steelers. That'll help out a little bit. Uh, confusing him just made him run away. That probably wasn't the best move here. I'll just get some stabby stab going on here. We'll be fine. There we go. Pig pile on the old cast dreadnought. Zot was that fire prison there and looking good so here we go into wave 13 lucky wave 13 i gotta keep my armor up i'm gonna put armor up on the chaos sorcerer right away as well and we have a swarm lord i'm gonna grab the swarm lord just gonna go with that gonna go with my instinct there grab a swarm lord uh look out for warriors though warriors uh have some knockback as well they can be very annoying i need to set them on each other as quickly as i possibly can uh, and I'm taking some damage here from some zone throws down at the bottom there. Okay, this is not good, not good, not good. Need to get the hell on out of here. Uh, oh god, oh god, oh god. That's not looking good at all. Gotta get my fortune back up here again. The warriors and their knockback. Knockback is like the death of me, uh, easily. 
Uh, thankfully, I think I took care of most of that here. Let's grab some more of these warriors in the center, uh, set them upon each other, and back away here slowly and hope that nobody notices me. Uh, let's take a look around here and see. Hive Tyrant is taking a bit of damage here. I'm going to go ahead and buff him as well. And uh, I'll just go ahead and poke this one last uh, warrior. No, I don't even kill the warrior when he's at that little hit point. That's not cool. I'll buff myself here and stab that guy one more time. That's looking pretty good here. Gene Steelers are looking good. Uh, let's see. Fire Prism's looking good. Uh, these zone throws are really annoying though. Let me grab one of them. And grab this freaking warrior. Why can't I kill warriors who are at a sliver of hit points? That's not fair. I am totally ineffective in combat. All right, there we go. Getting some stabby stab. And yeah, just a bunch of zone throws left over. I'm fine with that. Gonna poke away with the swords here a little bit. Uh, make sure my allies are all good. Everybody's looking good. I'm taking some damage here, but that's fine. <laughs> I love seeing the Fire Prism knock that guy back. And bam, he goes down as well here. So I'm going to armor myself up. I will armor, I will throw some fortune on our Tyranid as well. well that's looking pretty cool. And uh, now we've got a bunch of scouts here. So uh, this is the one, I hear him, where is he? Where is he? This is one with the Dreadnought. Where's the Dreadnought? There he is, he's down here in the south. Uh, he's going to wreck this Dreadnought, I think. I'm going to go ahead and control those Assault Marines instead. And just keep an eye out on that Northern Dreadnought there, because that could be that could be kind of annoying. Oh, we got Dreadnoughts everywhere, actually. I'm gonna grab this Dreadnought here, and uh, he's dead. And I'll just keep backing away. I'm gonna continue giving fortune here to my Chaos Friend. I'm gonna grab, oh God, okay, okay. Now we got a Predator here. I gotta watch out for the Predator. Predator is bad news there. Predator is very bad news there indeed. Uh, let me grab the Predator, let me confuse him. There we go, that'll save me just a little bit. And now I really gotta run away here. I'm taking way too much damage. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of these guys. Uh, where are my allies here? If I can grab our Chaos Sorcerer. He's way down in the south there. Okay, I'm just going to run to him. Uh, grabbing another Dreadnought here. I'm going to buff up my Chaos Sorcerer friend to keep him alive. Uh, and now that's looking pretty good. Okay, now that that's looking good, I'm just going to start grabbing this victory point because that is, of course, important on some levels. And uh, this guy is blowing the hell out of me here. I'm going to give myself some fortune, and that's looking pretty good. All right, I think we got this. I think we got this here. Uh, stabby stab. No, 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 no. I do not want to fight him alone like that. That's not cool. I'll confuse him just to... Confusing him when there's no other targets there, he'll often just kind of wander around, so that's fine. Uh, and and we made it. We're pretty good here. I do like having the fire prism. Oh my god, no, not the assault cannon. Okay, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and give myself some fortune here. Give him some fortune and grab onto some uh, grab onto some ogrins. Ogrins are certainly important here. Uh, massive ogrins. Oh my god, ogrins everywhere. Ogrids all over the place, gonna grab these guys. See, this is why it's so important to have lots of mana regen, because I can cast like six spells back to back and still be fine. Uh, let's see here, what else do we have going on? Oh my god, I'm gonna give him some more preemptive armor and give myself some preemptive armor, uh, because he's taking a lot of damage. Gas Sorcerer Friend taking tons of damage. I'm gonna go ahead and confuse some more. Uh, this will probably help once we start getting some shots coming out of that thing. 